Okay guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the top plate, <coughs> the one with the grooves, for sitting on your top of your, uh, for suspending your camera unit down. You can see that there. Um, there's going to be less light on here today. Now, there is your posi drive screws the ones you're going to need. If you look at the instruction manual, they look like hexa screws. There isn't them. These are the ones that you need. Just pop them in there. And obviously say with your trusted hexa screwdriver. Tighten them up. more right you get the idea so we'll join you back in a second when I have put all these together so you put the screwdriver Join you back in a second, guys. All right, guys. Here we have the plate all in place. I said that'll go over there like that. That'll screw onto the top, and this plate then will work up and down, which will compress the the rubber balls, making them work the proper way. Right. We'll put the balls in, put it together, and we'll come back. Okay, what we've done is we've put all the uh, suspension rubbers in place. Now the next part is to do this part, put them in that way. I hope you can see now how this works. The camera will obviously be suspended from the bottom of here. That'll be in place there, and that's how it will work but we'll put the, the rubber balls in and uh, we'll then show you everything back together and attach it to the camera the rest of the gimbal back in a second guys okay guys we now have done the fiddly part as you can see we can press down next part is to attach the lower plate should have a few more screws in here for that <laughs> again if you tighten it up diagonally you have one spare screw. Always good to have a spare. Oops. Give it a tighten up. Now, this is because this part here is holding this plate here, I'll demonstrate by pulling that way. That's the way it works. As you can see, they're being compressed. There's very little movement then. If they were doing the other way, it would swing back and forth. Try it yourself. When you get yours, pull it tight and then try and swing it back and forth. Not so easy. Okay, just got to attach now to camera gimbal. I 
And there we have it, guys. Big camera gimbal. Two axes put together from a DYS. Um, I have a DYS uh, two axis camera gimbal that I purchased, and I'll show you that just now and how to attach it. Cheers, guys. Back in a second. Okay, now we have the two axis gimbal from um, DYS. As you can see, it's got a mini USB on it. Um, it's a nice gimbal. It also has, um, I've done a review on this, the unboxing or unpacking, should you say, of the, the gimbal controller. It's got a button here where you can change your different settings. Um, not an awful lot to it. Anyway, the way that it attaches um, is like that there. And we'll get the, the screws in question that we're needing, which are the little wee short hexa ones. I believe, if memory serves me right. Attach it with two of these screws and the sensor. Now, personally, I would take out the sensor and twist the wires. They are quite stiff wires. Um, I would prefer them if they were a bit more slacker. You have to be very careful with these because they can easily come out. Twist the wires. Put the plug back in. And then you would attach your board whatever way that you want to attach it. Normally I put my USB on the way down and again a couple of the small screws I'll only put in two for the moment um, you, I don't know, you would probably have noticed that uh, this controller board is the one that DYS is going to be advertising very shortly. It is the one that will be their third access board controller. It's the one. That so we will get this all touched up. As you can see, not a great fan of these wires, but as long as they don't get entangled in anything, you know, you'll find a way to attach it. Maybe put some ferrule rings, or one should I say, on the sensor. Um, does help sometimes if you get, oh look, here we go. There's a wire broken off already, but not very good. Anyway, we'll need to speak to DYS about that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, we update on the white wire that seemed to have come out. It doesn't seem to be crimped correctly or properly. Be aware that um, this could be an issue. I will bring us up with the DYS. But I basically just poked the hole, the wire, sorry, back in the hole and it started working again 
um, as you can see um, I would personally definitely put some hot glue on the end of those connectors just to be make, just to make sure that they're gonna hold their uh, because the wires are so stiff it needs to be a, uh, a softer silicon wire um, there's nothing wrong with them um, but yeah I would definitely put some uh, hot glue on there there or super glue anything that you have like that to aid keeping the wires into place into the plug all right guys I'll do uh, an update uh, later with the gimbal with the camera on and uh, we'll do some settings or something like that cheers for watching and uh, thanks guys bye bye